Hostess has been getting a lot of press the last few days. Ever since going under, people are wondering when the end of Twinkies and Ho-Hos will come. Snacks aside, this is messing with the Kansas City tradition. Arthur Bryant has been serving Wonder Bread, which is made by Hostess for decades. Hostess going under probably doesn't make you think of a big effect on a barbecue joint. A one of Kansas City's oldest and best known Arthur Bryant's, it should. If you're from Kansas City and you like to eat, you know this place. It's delicious. It's our favorite barbecue, so it doesn't get any better than this. Beef and turkey, fries, bunch of pickles on the side. Bigger even than the sandwiches overflowing with smoked meat, tradition runs through Arthur Bryant. You host both presidents and presidential hopefuls over the years, and there's not much need for change. It's kind of got a certain wholesome plainness to it. I can't write this right. Starting this weekend. It may get through the day, but it depends on business. The tradition changes. Did you know that one of the ingredients that they use in every single plate is going away? What is it? The Wonder Bread. Really? Oh, because of Hostess. Oh, bummer. Oh, that's right. It's Twinkies and Wonder Bread Company. And I thought you were going to say the sawdust and the barbecue sauce. Whether ordering to eat in or taking your meal home, Bryant's used nothing but Wonder Bread for several decades. With Hostess gone, you won't see the white and blue bags with the polka dots just below the menu much longer. Oh yeah, definitely. I love the bread. I've always, I, I didn't even think about it until now, until you said something. That's kind of a real downer. While some mourn the last minutes of these loaves in their lunch, others focus more on what's between the slices and decided not to worry. I mean, the barbecue is still the barbecue, so I'm not coming for the bread. I'm sure they're going to do great still. They, I mean, they've always been great. When you listen to loyal customers and look at what will keep coming out of the kitchen, no wonder. The customers say that they come here mostly for the meat and sauce, but are sad to hear that a tradition they grew up with will come to an end. Reporting live, Epi O'Neill.